I have all this money. I'm gonna go buy stuff with it. Can I buy something? What, what, what do you have? Can I buy that person? There you go. Give me my dead person. Ah, ah, I got a dead person. Hi, Bob. How are you today? Hi. I ran out of money. Let's go to the bank. We can get you a loan. Okay. <laughs> Candace, you can check out that wall some more if you want. Nice wall. There you go, sir. Thank you. Go. Hello, sir. Can I buy this weight table? Sure you can. You sure you know how to work it? Oh, yeah. Sure I do. See? <laughs> sir, your credit card's maxed out. What? Give me, give me, no. give me, no. give me, no. give it to me! I can't believe it's nice. Stop! How is this possible? I didn't pay my credit card bill at all. I'm gonna pin you down. Sir. <laughs> 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 no, please, please. There you go. A little help, please, please. No. Uh. Part of the reason why the economy is so bad is because people get loans that they can't pay back. Another reason why the economy is so bad is because people spend money they don't have using their credit cards. 
In 2000, 11.3% of the United States population was poor. That's 31.1 million people. In 2004, 12% of Americans were below the poverty line. The poverty line is the level at which a person no longer has enough money to provide himself with a decent standard of living. In 2010, the minimum income to be considered above the poverty line for a family of four in the United States is $21,756 annually. In 2009, 6.3% of people lived below the poverty line. In 2009, 36.6% of all the people living below the poverty line were living in extreme poverty, meaning they lived off half of the income describing the poverty line. In 2009, 9.3% of Americans were unemployed. The inflation rate in 2009 was negative 0.3%, meaning that the dollar was no longer worth a dollar. In the year 2000, 11.3% of the United States was poor. Nearly 14 million children, or 19% of all children, are below the poverty line. 41% of all kids live in low-income families. People receive a lower income. This lowers the average person's standard of living. The United States imports more than it exports, losing money. That's all, folks.